A woman hesitates before carrying her newborn across the sewage-filled trench that was dug around her village a month ago by Israeli troops. Stretching some two kilometers and being about five meters wide, the trench, which is more like a putrid medieval moat, is, says Israel, a necessary precaution to protect against militants entering or leaving the West Bank town of Nablus. We saw uh, artificial uh, trenches dug, which were dug indeed by the soldiers in that region. Um, at the time, one of the trenches, uh, which was in parallel to, the, to the, the dry trench, was filled with sewage, which was very clearly coming from the direction of Nablus. Um, with the rains, this uh, sewage um, flooded over into, into the dry trenches, and uh, we've seen that now basically all three villages are surrounded uh, by sewage. The three villages surrounded by the moat, Azmut, Salem and Deir al-Hatab, have a total population of about 11,000 people. They've not only had their land destroyed to make way for the moat, but all the roads and bridges leading to and from Nablus, on which the villages depend, have also been torn down, forcing all residents to cross over a single guarded route that leads to the festering river that has to be crossed on foot. I'm now sitting in the actual trench on a pipe that's effectively the bridge between the three villages to the east of Nablus and Nablus itself. The Palestinians need to go into Nablus to bring their livestock, for the children to go to school, and for some of them, people need to work in Nablus itself. And as you can see, directly underneath me and all around me is raw sewage. This 60-year-old man told us he had walked for five hours from Azmut to Nablus to collect food for his family of 13. This father of three told me how worried he is about the health of his children, having so much sewage around his home. In some of these diseases, there is sick, uh, insects and some, some bad, and this is a bad smile. These make, you know, make the children feel, feel bad and uh, some uh, sick, some illness. And you know, the school is closer to the sewage water and the trench. This is may, make me afraid about all the children there. Today, the Israeli High Court was petitioned by Physicians for Human Rights who demand the trench be dried out so some semblance of normality is returned to the region. But the group concedes they have little chance of victory. In the short term, at least, it looks like Israel's ring of sewage is here to stay. Richard Barry, NBC News, Nablus.